Well, on the way home from work today, I decided I was going to go to Canadian Tire to see if I can get some sheet metal to do a repair. And sure enough, I went there and they didn't have any. Then I went to Auto Value, which is just down the street, and same thing. They didn't have no sheet metal. Then on my way home, I was kind of pissed off. I'm like, fucking seriously, I used to be able to buy this shit all the time. Now I can't get it. Then I remembered somewhere in my garage, I had some. And fuck, I still do. I still do. So this is what we're going to do. We got this piece here. And we're going to try to recreate this piece. I'm actually going to make two pieces and weld them together. So the first piece is going to be this bottom half because we got that little bend there. And then we're going to create this piece because we got the quarter panel bend and then that piece is bent separately. So we'll see what we can conjure up. Well, I got my pieces cut out here and they're just in the rough stages still. And I started doing some bending because I'm going to try to mimic this piece as closely as I can. Hardest part is going to be trying to put that ridge in there and that bend. And I think once we get that done, we can patch it up to match the fender as closely as we can and then tack weld it in place. I'm going to have to set my welder up to weld really thin metal and do a couple little practice shots and then we'll fucking get her set up. Well, here's my piece right here that I made. It's still in the rough stages, but we'll get ready to go. I created that body line right here by putting a pair of pliers up to where the line's got to be and then a pair of pliers on the other line to bend it. So what I did is, um, where is this piece? Is that I put a piece of tape across here and then I traced out where the line was, then took the tape off and lined it up with this one here. So that's where I can get the body line pretty close. So that's going to make it a little bit easier to fit in. And then I just weld it the two halves together and then grinded it down. So just getting ready to weld it in place. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just an average guy just like you guys. So we're going to see how well this is going to work out. So before I start doing any welding, I disconnected the negative from the battery terminal. That way we don't have any power spikes to go to the computer and anything else. So I'm getting ready to set this up. Here's my piece. We're gonna fit into place. It's gonna tack weld that into place and then finish bending it to where it's gotta be. <clears throat> we'll weld that up slowly. So I got a couple spot welds in there and I grind it down. I had quite a big gap right in here I had to fill. And I still got some pinholes there to patch up. But I'm gonna try to set the camera down somehow so you can see. I can't find my little miniature tripod, so that part kind of sucks. So basically what I want to do is I want to take a spot weld ticket, cool it off with air, because you want to keep the heat out of the panel. You get too much heat in the panel, and that's what's going to end up warping on you, and that just, warping a panel is a day ruiner, and it's a panel ruiner too. So I'll try to set this up somehow that you can be able to watch, and let's see if we can get this done. Now, you can see right here, I got a pretty big glob right here. This metal right here is pretty thin, probably from the rust, because we did have that rust section here. <clears throat> so when I go to tack weld it here, it just burns through. So now I'm gonna go through again, probably gonna hit this corner, and then keep doing this all the way along until I got beads all the way across, and then we can start sanding it and grinding it down afterwards. Fuck, I know it's only Wednesday, but it's fucking beer time. That tastes good. So, being Wednesday and all, I've kind of been on a big push to try to get the car done as much as I can. I got Saturday, Saturday to Saturday and Sunday to finish it, and then laid in a primer on Sunday. So this is what I got fucking going. I welded this panel in. Turned out all right. There's a little bit of a dip. There's a little bit of a dip right in there from the welding it and also this little section right here where it didn't line up perfectly but nothing some little bondo won't be able to do. I think it turned out alright. Alright, today's Saturday morning. I'm not sure why I'm up so fucking early but i got lots of things to do so what I'm going to do is i got a 100 grit sandpaper here 
on a block and we're gonna start sanding the piece down on the car. You really want to use a block to start breaking that down. But I'm going to uh, get this sanded down to show you it's kind of hard to do it and film at the same time. All right, so what I did is I sanded it down with 100 grit just to kind of get the shape going. Then I used 220 grit to sand it down even finer. So you can see there's a low inside here and I still got a peak inside here I got to fill in and on the end I got to fill in. But this line here could obviously tell us where I welded it in. So we just got to add a little bit more filler and then hopefully that should patch it up. Okay, I got this down where I kind of think I need it, and it's all sanded down, and I feathered this off with my orbital sander, because basically when you prime it, if you can feel a ridge there, it's going to show up in the paint. And even though this may look all right here, once I prime it, it's going to show how it's really going to look once there's paint on it. So what I did, <clears throat> that's the stuff I used to wipe the body off before I paint. It's called Sure Wipe. And I picked up some of this stuff here, 1K high build primer filler. So I was going to shake that up and spray down those sections and see how it turns out. Holy shit, on the instructions when they say spray 10 inches away, they really fucking mean it. Because that paint comes out fast. And look at those fucking paint runs. That's fucking disgusting. That's going to make a mess, but we'll sand it down. <laughs> 